Okay. What's baby doing? All right, I'm at Hobby Lobby this morning, and this picture would be so cute for my kitchen, but I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I'm getting two additional Reese's Bowl, and I'm just trying to figure out like what I'm gonna do for my kitchen. These are cute. These little... That's cute. I, I wish they were in red, actually. Good morning guys, officially good morning. Don't even have my makeup on today and I'm just fine with that. I took off my hat though. I was wearing my hat this morning when I went and ran my errands. I dropped off my first round of orders um, for my blind date with a book and my junk journal kits. For those of you that ordered, it's going out. Sorry, I'm... So yeah, for those of you that ordered they go they're going out as scheduled so usually when you place an order on etsy it will tell you when it will ship because my listings i select certain time frame so that's how etsy knows and then when you place the order etsy tells you that's the estimated ship date so and i'm shipping based off of that i just have so many orders if i could do them earlier like i would but I do a lot of wrapping and anyways, it's been so fun. I love it so much making these kits for you guys. That's what I'm gonna do today. All I'm gonna do today are kits. And Mike has been helping me too, which is so cut down on so much of my time because we've gotta make the boxes, prep the boxes. I gotta wrap the books, decorate the books. Then I gotta fill the books with goodies. Then the book's got to go in certain packaging, certain stickers, in the box, extra things. <laughs> the, the, the order has to be printed and put in and then sealed and weighed and all that. So it's actually quite a long process. But luckily with Micah's help, it is cut down on so much time. She mans... So I wrap and decorate the books and then I stuff the books. And she makes the boxes and then once I'm done with the book she takes it and packages it so that's been our process and it's been so helpful to me um so hopefully that gets me to a point where I can start sending them out earlier um but right now right now I am on time I guess actually no some of the people who are supposed to get them on the 15th are getting them a couple days early but my the 15th for me, the deadline to have everything shipped out by the 15th, like the orders that came in for that day, um, that specific day, I have the most orders up. So I'm trying to like do them in batches before tomorrow's the 15th. So I have to do a ton today. At least I would love to do like 60 orders today if I can. Um, and then I did... 10 yesterday that's 70 i think i have over 100 orders that have to go out by the 15th and then there's all the ones after that if that makes sense probably doesn't make any sense but anyways um i have over 250 orders in general but by the 15th a big bulk of um you guys ordered on that one day and so you all have this one ship date if that makes sense i'm babbling 
here we are. I can't tell you the amount of times I actually cut myself out when I'm editing. This could be one of those times. Who knows? Anyways, I'm actually watching all of my vlogs, my Christmas vlogs. Um, I have it on. One, it's just like comforting actually. And two, it helps me to see what I have, like my inventory. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing this morning. I went to Hobby Lobby, which you saw a quick clip. I went to Home Goods and it was so rough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Third world problems, obviously, but not third world problems, obviously, in the slightest. But let me tell you, it was a humdinger to walk through my home goods compared to the home goods I saw in Denver, in Colorado. I was just like, <sighs> like our shelves were bare, bare, bare bones. But anyways, um, I guess that's what happens when you live in a very populated town. Anyways, um, so I've been working on getting my checklist done and that's what I've been doing. I made a checklist of all my Christmas decor. So that's, um, yeah, I'm actually going to not use my teddy bear stockings this year. I don't think I'm going to use the bears in my living room, but I was looking back at my videos because I was like, you know what? Let me do red. Let me just do red plain stockings because I already am doing the plaid on the pillows. Let me just do red stockings and a red tree skirt. And then I was like, wait, don't I already have that? And so I, I went, I went on my videos and saw that I, that I in fact do. I used them in Florida and then the year before, I think two years before in the previous house. But then when we moved to back here this last Christmas in 2023, that's when I started the teddy bears. But I'm not going to use the teddy bears, like I said, this year. So I've been having to um, figure all that out. I did buy some pillow covers for my dining room because I'm going to do a navy thing in there. And I bought bed risers. I already have a set that I use in my media room to make the couch a little higher than the two chairs, but it fell off of it, so I just don't care. But I'm gonna use those bed risers for the tree in my dining room. And that is a great way to give your tree height. So I'm gonna use those bed risers for the dining room tree. And then I ordered another set um, for my living room tree because the ceilings are really tall and I feel like the trees will look like they're just being swallowed up. So I'm just gonna use bed risers to extend them up. And then I bought my pillow covers for the dining room pillows. If you guys know, I have like those brown pillows on the ends of the chair, so I got navy. And then I bought um, some red bows for my wreaths. Um, and I still have quite the list. I'm also trying to decide if I wanna put chairs back in my office. I actually have some chairs picked out. I've had them picked out from Amazon for a while and they're really pretty and they're black and white stripe. So they're also very, you know, like, let me show you. So it's these, but you get two for $300 two for $300. However, shipping is $100. So it'll be $400 for the set. And I'm just trying to decide if I even like want to do that or not. It's because I'm in my office all the time and Micah would actually come in and sit in my, in my office chairs. I mean, even when she was little, like what ever, anytime I've had an office, she would come in and sit in the chair. So I just didn't get chairs for this space because I thought it would look too cluttered and I really think that it would, but I do love the chair look. I think it can also make it look cozy. And if you guys remembered in my last office in the house before this one, I bought those beautiful big plaid pillows and they sat in the chairs. I got rid of those chairs um, when I moved. So I'll have those two pillows that won't have a place to go. So.
I'm not saying I'm trying to buy chairs just for those pillows, but, um, but I have, Micah has come in here so much and there's just not a place for her to sit. So she comes and sits in my lap <laughs> and I have to stop working and which is so adorable, but you know, um, that, why, why does this all sound like a complaint? I promise you it's not. I, my mind is racing a mile a minute because I know it's like go time. This weekend, I have to get my Christmas stuff out of my attic and with this bum shoulder. So I'm definitely going to have my stepdad help me and um, bring all that stuff down. And yeah, also part of my word of the year being organization, I will be going through all of my Christmas bins and anything that I'm not using and doesn't ha hold sentimental value, anything, it gets donated. It goes. I will not be taking this stuff along into the next house because obviously I'm renting. So if I could stay here forever, I would. And I was actually given the opportunity to buy this house, but it's just for the price, I couldn't justify it. I just thought it's just not the right time. Um, hopefully the market gets better, um, which I do foresee it becoming a buyer's market, at least in my area. It depends. Real estate just depends on where you are. Um, but I do foresee DFW becoming a buyer's market here soon. I mean, it's really about supply and demand in, in my humble opinion. I'm not saying I know anything and everything, but supply and demand drives a lot of pricing, all pricing. And they've been building so many new communities and homes. Like there's nothing but new, 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 new apartments, new neighborhoods everywhere well that's gonna now that there's more homes right that's gonna lower the demand because there's gonna be a multitude of homes for people to choose from and i think that's gonna drive a buyer's market not a seller's market but well, well, i don't know so i thank you for letting me babble i feel like i kind of needed to i needed to like brain dump i guess whatever's going on in here so anyways, um, I, yeah, I'm just trying to square away this Christmas list of mine. I still have like, I need to get some cedar branches or faux, faux winter branches for my, the pots I'm using. I guess I need one for... Oh, these are, these are sold out. Remember I told you yesterday how so every that the asshole that we didn't know you do give them all the information. All you gotta do is call them once a week.